Welcome to the Sounds of Resistance. The war between Ukraine and Russia dragged the Russian army towards the collapse period with the legendary resistance of the Ukrainian warriors for four months. The Ukrainian armed forces launched a counterattack in the south towards the end of June. As a result, the Russian soldiers have lost their hopes against the war in Ukraine due to the lack of resources and the loss of soldiers. The Russian armed forces and the military policy of Russian leader Vladimir Putin also put a lot of pressure on the Russian soldiers. Authoritarian leader Putin tends to continue his attacks against Ukraine regardless of the condition of the soldiers in his army. With the offensive of the Ukrainian army in the last three months, revolts against Putin have erupted in the Russian army and the uprisings in the army continue to climb towards their peak. In the past days, there have been very heavy rebellions within the Russian army against the Russian leader Putin. In their revolts involving Russian senior generals, some high-ranking Russian officers and their military groups refused to fight at the front by raising their rebel flags against Russian leader Putin. The soldiers who participated in the revolt laying down their weapons on the grounds that fighting against Ukraine would only harm Russia drove Putin crazy. The main reasons stated by the soldiers who refused to lay down their weapons and fight are the lack of military equipment in the Russian army and the inability to fill the gap of approximately 60,000 Russian soldiers who died. The Russian leader, on the other hand, continued his erroneous strategies in the face of his situation and blamed his own army. Due to the ruthless and indifferent approach of Russian leader Putin towards his army, numerous rebellions and scandals began to take place within the Russian army. The last straw was that the Russian leader tried to hide the losses in the middle of the Ukraine-Russia war when the loss of Russian soldiers began to peak and stated that the war was progressing in favor of the Russians and that everything was going perfectly for Russia. In this process, shocking events began to take place in the Russian army as the ties between the Russian leader and his army weakened. Another Russian scandal that would move the agenda took place in Kherson, where Ukraine took full domination. The event that made you give up started when three FSB agents, Igor Yakubinsky, Sergei Privalo and D.A. Borodin entered the bar with Russian soldiers. The names of the Russian soldiers in the bar are Sergeant Sergei Obukho and Sergeant Igor Sudin. It was determined that the Russian soldiers in the bar consumed excessive alcohol because they did not want to be at the front in the Ukrainian war and were attempting to protest against Putin. It was enough to ignite the spark when the Russian soldiers came to the aforementioned bar in military clothes and the FSB agents realized this after entering the venue. The three FSB agents severely scolded two Russian soldiers who were consuming alcohol. Obukov, a Russian soldier, aimed his gun at the FSB agents and fired. While the Russian FSB agent Privalo was trying to take his gun from Obukov's hand, the Russian soldier Sudin began to scan the Russian agents with his AK-47 infantry rifle on his back. The bar turned into a bloodbath as the verbal argument between the Russian soldiers and their agents turned into a violent confrontation. As a result of the conflict, Russian sergeant Sergei Obuko, Russian FSB agent Sergei Privalo, and other Russian agent Igor Yakubinsky lost their lives. Russian agent Borodin and Russian sergeant Igor Sudin were hospitalized with serious injuries. It is known that sergeant Sudin and Russian agent Borodin are still in danger. There are many striking turmoils and internal conflicts like this one in the Russian army. Some Russian officers even tried to get a share of the money allocated for the army budget. The clashes between the Russian soldiers and their commanders turned into armed arguments and the loss of life continued to accelerate the collapse of the Russian army. One of the biggest internal dangers in the Russian army is the alcohol problem of almost all Russian army members, including soldiers and senior officers in the army. Reports of Ukrainian intelligence personnel who secretly entered Russia before Russia's invasion of Ukraine indicate that large numbers of Russian soldiers were drunk even while on duty. Stunning reports revealing that Russian soldiers are selling army equipment to buy alcohol show that Russia is not all prepared for a comprehensive war. 
that reason for all this Russian army's irresponsible behavior is shown as the military policies implemented by Russian leader Vladimir Putin without thinking about the course of the war. Russian leader Vladimir Putin has put into effect the plan of additional soldiers to save the Russian army from the stage of collapse in terms of structure, announcing that the Russian army will add nearly 140,000 soldiers to its capacity, including in 2023. Putin has already started recruiting volunteers for the army with the mobilization decision he announced. However, the mobilization decision, which included the conscription of 300,000 Russian citizens, did not result as Putin expected in Russia. After the partial mobilization decision announced by the Russian leader, Russian citizens started to leave their country. Another example of rebellion against Putin's policy of using his soldiers as pawns came from one of the Russian elite paratroopers, Pavel Filatyev. Filatyev shared 141 pages of striking statements from his social media account regarding the Ukraine-Russia war. Russian elite paratrooper Filatyev stated that the Russian army was quite inadequate in combat equipment and military training even before the invasion of Ukraine began. Pavel Filatyev was a member of an elite parachute regiment that attacked the city of Kherson at the behest of Russian President Putin, which launched the invasion of Ukraine. During the progress of the Russian occupation, Filatyev told how his regiment struggled with hunger and lack of resources. Russian elite paratrooper Filatyev underlined that this invasion plan was equivalent to a suicide attempt from the very beginning and that Russian leader Putin was aware of the possible consequences beforehand. Filatyev's parachute regiment had supported the fighting in the south of Ukraine since February 24, when the invasion began. Filatyev, who was exposed to an explosion that damaged his eyes during a conflict in this region, decided to withdraw from the front. Before leaving the operation, the Russian elite paratroopers spent two months in key cities such as Kherson and Mykolaiv. Filatyev had to flee to France after sharing all the troubles he experienced after leaving the Ukrainian occupation unit, the harsh conditions of the war and the indifferent attitudes of the Russian administration towards the army. Filatyev, who was worried about the pressure and heavy penal sanctions of the Russian administration, sought asylum after here coming to France. In a sanction of the 141-page memoirs of the giant invasion shared by Filatyev, the words, we had no moral right to attack another country, especially Ukraine, the nation closest to us, actually reveals the bitter realities of the war. The Russian elite paratrooper did not hesitate to comment on the occupation policies of Russian leader Putin. The Russian elite paratrooper said, year by year, the chaos and corruption are growing. Corruption, disorder and indifference reached unacceptable levels within the military. The first few months I was in shock. I told myself this couldn't be true. At the end of the year, I realized I did not want to serve in such an army. The Russian armed forces are no different than the situation Russia has fallen into over the past few years. The power in Moscow played a major role in the destruction of the army we inherited from the Soviet Union, he said. After the Russian elite paratrooper was evacuated to a military hospital in Sevastopol, Crimea after his injury, there were attempts to resign for health reasons, but was threatened with investigation by his superiors if he refused to return to the war. Then, as we mentioned, he escaped to France via Tunisia after being discharged from the hospital. The Russian elite paratrooper states that the reason he shared the behind-the-scenes content of this war is that people in Russia and around the world see how this war broke out and why people are still fighting and concerns about the life-threatening danger of Filatyev, who is still seeking asylum. While the revolts against Putin and the Kremlin administration in the Russian army have increased beyond count, the next step of the Russian leader Putin and his executive staff on this issue is eagerly awaited. We will see the developments in the future together. Do not leave us. Thanks for watching.